Adobe recently introduced Generative Extend to Premiere Pro, which gives us the ability to extend the length of clips and audio using artificial intelligence. This is gonna be perfect for situations where maybe you need to hold longer on a shot, but the clip just simply isn't long enough. The same goes for audio. Maybe your room tone audio is too short, so instead you can just take the Generative Extend tool and extend your audio clip with ease. Now we're gonna go over the entire tool in detail, so make sure to stick around. But first, a special thanks to today's sponsor, MotionElements.com. So to get started, we'll have to open up Premiere Pro Beta, as Generative Extend is currently only available in the beta version of the software, with its official release coming soon in the near future. For this first example, I have a clip of two women posing in what looks like a club. I chose this example as there's quite a bit of variation in the shot, like the multicolored lighting and the glimmers coming from the background here. So it should be a good example to test out Generative Extend with. Now, before we extend the clip, it's worth noting that currently we can only work with horizontal clips that are 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720, but I imagine that once it's officially released, we'll be able to extend any size or dimension of footage. So with our first clip in our timeline, you'll see I can't extend the clip any further than what the original length is, obviously. So what we can do now is head down to our toolbar and you'll probably notice this new generative extend icon. So we'll just choose that. And now when we go to extend our clip, you'll see we can extend the clip up to an additional two seconds. Personally, I wish we had the ability to extend a little bit longer than two seconds, but I imagine that once this is officially released, we'll be able to extend to longer durations. But for now, two seconds is still gonna be a game changer. So once we've extended the clip, Premiere is gonna take about 20 seconds, depending on the clip, to generate an additional two seconds. But once it's done, check out the results. Now we can see this is all still the original footage, but here comes the switch. And now this is AI generated. So a couple of things I've noticed with the AI generation is that there is a slight shift in color between the original footage and the new AI generation, which I don't personally love, but for the time being, it isn't a massive deal. Another thing I've noticed is that the movement in the clip slows down once we hit the AI generation. You can see the two women slow down their body movements as well as the camera movement slows down as well. Again, not a massive deal, but it's definitely something I'm hoping becomes more seamless once the official version is released. Now let's do one more example with an even more complex piece of footage and see how Generative Extend handles it. So I have this clip of a car ripping through the streets and you can see there's quite a bit going on in the shot, like the rapid camera movement and amount of background action. So again, let's take our Generative Extend tool and extend this new clip two seconds, and here are the results. The overall generation looks great, and I can hardly see a shift in color in this example. The only thing I noticed is that AI didn't end up generating a driver in the driver's seat, which could be an issue. However, for now, this would work perfectly for things like nailing certain transitions or holding slightly longer on a shot to hit a music beat or something of that nature. Now, maybe I'm being dramatic, but even the beta version of this tool is getting me super excited for what's to come in the near future with Premiere Pro and all of their AI advancements. Now, next, let's look at how we can use Generative Extend to extend our audio. But first, let me put you onto a little editing cheat code that I've been using to speed up my workflow. Imagine finishing your edits in half the time. With websites like MotionElements.com, now you can for a fraction of the price. With over 14 million digital stock assets from videos, Premiere and After Effects templates, royalty-free music, and a lot more, you can stop wasting time creating assets from scratch and instead browse some customizable world-class templates. And the best part of it all, you can get unlimited downloads for just $19.90 a month without a one-year commitment. With millions of premium assets at your fingertips, it's a steal compared to similar platforms that can charge up to $100 monthly. Just use code Justin since you're at nine for 70% off your first month when you sign up for an unlimited subscription plan at motionelements.com. So back in Premiere Pro beta, let's quickly go over how we can use Generative Extend on our audio clips as well. So for this example, I have a basic edit set up and I have this room tone sound effect here, but it's slightly too short for what I need. Now, one way to extend this would be to copy and paste it over to the right and then add some sort of crossfade. However, with Generative Extend, it's even easier. So again, we can just select our Generative Extend tool and click and drag to extend it as much as you need. It is worth mentioning that currently with the beta version of this tool, we can only extend our audio up to 10 seconds, but for most situations, this should work fine. Now, similar to the Video Extend feature, this process takes roughly 20 seconds, which I hope will get faster as the tool advances, but for now, let's listen to the results.
As you may have heard, the extended room tone sounds almost identical to the rest of the clip and would work fine in most situations. Now, with that being said, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next in Premiere Pro, whether it's related to this generative extend feature or something completely different, like maybe a fix for that color shift issue upon export. And I'll do my best to pass it on to the good people at Adobe. Now, with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.